What's going on YouTube? Gio's not right here. So in today's video, I have great news for those of you waiting for jailbreak features on iOS 16.0 up to 16.1.2. Kaobanga application was updated and it now supports even more tweaks. This video is brought to you by Any Unlock, a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM, remove SIM lock and stuff like that. Definitely check the program out in the link below. It's very good for devices that are second hand, pre-owned and stuff like that. So a couple of hours ago, the Kaobanga application, which is basically an application based on a kernel exploit by EM Beer, the uh, Mac Dirty Cow exploit. This one has been updated. It now allows you to change, you know, system sounds and whatever. It removes region restrictions and stuff like that. So this application is available in IPA format and it works even if you're not jailbroken on iOS 16.1.2 and lower on all devices. With this, you can customize the dock. Now you can customize the sound effects on the device and stuff like that. Folder backgrounds even without a jailbreak. So let me demonstrate how it works. As I said, if you want it, 16.1.2 and lower. For 16.2, the bug has been patched and this doesn't work. If you want it, you go here on the Kobanga repo, which is this application over here. And the features are hide dock, hide home bar, hide folder backgrounds, remove regional restrictions, disable app switch blur, custom sound effects, change system version, enable iPhone 10 gesture, and even enable dynamic island on the iOS 16 plus. So you go here to the uh, releases, version 6.0 in my case, get the IPA file and you can sideload it to your device with anything you like, like alt store or sideloadly or whatever. I'm gonna sideload it and be right back. So here it is my device. I have finished sideloading Kaobanga and as you can see, I have it in here. And yes, the UI has completely changed compared to the previous version. There is now a springboard tab over here where you have various tweaks which do not require a jailbreak. For example, hide the dock, hide the home bar, disable folder background, switcher blur, whatever. Then you have in here the audio where you can change the sound for charging, for locking the device, for default notifications, you can pick any sound you want, for screenshotting, send message, receive message, and even for payment success. Then you have in here miscellaneous stuff, which is changing the software version, in my case it's 16.1.1, and the device subtype, you can basically enable the iPhone 10 gestures, and even enable dynamic island from the new iPhone 14. So yeah, that's basically it with Kawabunga. Right now, as you can see, I have the dock over here, and I can simply go ahead and say hide the dock, and hide the home bar, and apply Apply, and that's basically it. I press OK and if we respring the device, that's it. We go here to respring. All right, so as you can see, no more dock. And if I go inside an application in here, there is also no more home bar. And as you can see in here, we have multiple options, including the audio ones. So this is actually pretty interesting. Thank you for watching. I am Geo Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated for more jailbreak related stuff. Peace out.